Hi, it's Miriam Zacharias here, and joining me today is Dr. Michael Murray, who's been selected for this year's NANP closing keynote. And today we're going to get a little sneak preview of what Dr. Murray is going to cover. So my first question is, your topic is the magic of food. Why is teaching this topic so important for the holistic nutrition profession? Well, first of all, uh, thank you for having me uh, at the symposium. I'm I'm really excited to talk about people or talk about this subject to people who are really passionate about food. Uh, I love the the topic magic of food because uh, we're just scratching the surface in our understanding of how food works in our body. I think if if we ask people what the greatest technology in the universe is, they, they may look at their phone or or uh, talk about their computer or some other piece of technology, but the greatest technology in the universe is nothing that man has created. Uh, it's nature and the way in which we commune with nature on a daily basis is through the food that we eat. Now, I just wrote a book called The Magic of Food and I came up with that title based upon a quote, and the quote is from Sir Arthur Clarke, who wrote 2001 A Space Odyssey, and he said, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And, you know, that's kind of the way I feel about my, my phone. I don't know how it works. It's magical. And we're just scratching the surface in our understanding of the magical ways in which food works in our body. And what's fun is uh, learning how uh, food and uh, dietary components work to promote health and healing. And that's gonna, what I'm going to be uh, sharing. And, and I know uh, this audience in particular is going to be thrilled uh, with what I share. Absolutely. It's, it's, uh, you're, you're sp preaching to the choir here with this group. So what would you say the top two to three takeaways might be for people following your session that might impact their work or their lives in some major way? Well, I think the big thing is just to say, wow, and, and just, and realize just how amazing uh, food is and how it works to promote health and healing. And I, I think uh, the feeling of awe and inspiration and humility and, and appreciation and gratitude will all be swelling uh, within uh, the, the audience as we, as we touch on just the miraculous and magical ways in which food is is working, uh, and it goes well beyond uh, what uh, you know people may have heard, uh, been taught about uh, food in, in, in the past. Uh, I, I like uh, sharing things that uh, knowledgeable people uh, have never heard before, and uh, I, I think I think that. People will walk away with a renewed appreciation for what they do and say, my God, I'm in the right spot. <laughs> yeah, and it's a powerful way to, to finish up what will be a, an exciting weekend anyway. So uh, it sounds almost mysterious and interesting and new, so I can't wait. The final question I wanted to ask you is, how has incorporating these new concepts of food and the magic of food changed your life or your work with clients and patients? Well, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of all uh, uh, nerds about, about food. <laughs> um, you know, for me, uh, the more that I learn about uh, diet, nutrition, dietary components, and how they work in our body, it just inspires me to learn even more, and in, in terms of my own life, to eat in an even more healthful and mindful manner. Uh, so um, it's it's there's going to be a lot of practical uh, information shared, but I think uh, you know I've done this a few times. The the big takeaway for people is that uh, they they kind of embrace their mission even more and. They feel justified and validated and honored that they're uh, making a difference in people's lives by helping shed the light on the role that uh, diet and food plays in improving their health.
That's phenomenal. And as holistic healers, we always talk about the mind, body, and spiritual connection. And it sounds like you're going to hit on all three of those in that spiritual side in a big way, something that we all need to be reminded of on a regular basis. Well, I can't wait to hear you uh, at our conference this year. So um, thank you so much for giving us a little sneak preview of what you're going to talk about. And we'll see you at the conference. Thank you. I look forward to being there. And uh, I plan to spend a lot of time interacting with all the participants. And it's going to be great fun. Great. Thank you.